We're here at Epworth in the old rectory, and we've just completed the tour. Here's our tour guide. Can you tell me what your name is? Amy Wilkinson. And you live here in Epworth? Yeah, all my life I've lived in Epworth. How did you come to know so much about Wesley history? Um, well, I'm a Methodist. I've been going to the Methodist church here um, since I was little. Um, and I'm fascinated by history. And I've thought of maybe when I'm older I'm, and left university, I want to work in a museum. So having a museum two minutes away about the history I'm interested in just seemed the perfect opportunity to learn more um, about the Wesleys. We don't hear much about the Seven Sisters, so I was wondering if you could tell me just a little about John Wesley's sisters. Um, yes, there were seven surviving sisters. There, there would have been more because there were 19 children in total, but not all survived infancy. Um, and they were all educated by Susanna because Susanna wanted all her children to be well educated, including her daughters, even if they could only get a job as a governess. Um, and there was Susanna, who was known as Suki, um, Amelia, who was known as Emily, Martha, who was known as Patty, Mahetabel, who was known as Hetty, um, Kezi, who, or Keziah, sorry, who was known as Kezi, um, and Anne, who was known as Nancy, um, and Mary, who was known as Molly. Um, and not much is known about all of them. For example, we don't know when um, Anne, Nancy, um, died or where. Um, but more is known about some of the others. For example, um, Mahetabel was the notorious mischief maker who um, fell in love with the man who promised to marry her. But when they ran away to London together, he turned out to have given her a false promise and she had to return to Wetworth in disgrace um, and admit to her father that she was pregnant and her father had to um, marry her off as soon as possible to a local um, man and unfortunately her child um, was born but didn't survive infancy and a number of her children that she had with her husband didn't survive into adulthood and she was actually a very accomplished poet and there was a very poignant poem that she wrote about one of her children who died and it, it does bring a lump to your throat. Now, they were very well educated for young ladies of the 1700s, mainly because of their mother. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what that would have entailed? What was education like for these girls? Um, they wouldn't have been able to go to um, a formal school, gain a formal education, but um, Susanna believed they had every right to be educated to some degree and she educated all of her children from the age of five so um, once um, one of her children turned five years old um, they began their school career um, and she taught them in the kitchen um, around the kitchen table and they were all expected on their first day of education which was their fifth birthday to um, learn the alphabet and they also were expected to learn Greek and Latin and Hetty was said to be very um, quick at learning and very intelligent and could read the New Testament in Greek by the age of about seven or eight and their day was well structured they'd have lessons in the morning a break for lunch lessons in the afternoon and the evenings were reserved for religious education you're so incredibly knowledgeable about the Wesley family. I had one last question I wanted to ask you, and that is, what have you learned um, about yourself, about your interest from everything that you've done in studying and learning about the Wesleys? What impression have they made upon you? Um, I found it very inspiring, the story of many of them, um, especially Susanna with um, her ambition to educate all her children and the way she did things that were ahead of her time um, and the influence she had on her sons John and Charles and um, the decisions John and Charles made that went against the established church 
in order to um, spread the message um, to um, a number of the working class throughout the country um, and the influence this had in the development of the now worldwide Methodist Church. Well, we greatly appreciate your taking the time to show us the house, tell us all these stories and just the incredible amount of knowledge that you shared with us about Samuel, Sus Susanna and um, John and, and his family. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.